Treehouse at Brandywine Grove is located in Sugar Creek, Ohio, and is owned by the same host as the Overlook Cabin that we toured in one of our previous Airbnb tour videos. David, the host, is building four Airbnbs on his 20-acre property and currently has two more under construction. This treehouse cabin has two bedrooms and one bath and can accommodate four guests. It is 22 feet above the ground, elevated on these concrete piers and iron beams, giving it a very unique look and design. There's also this really cool feature that I'll point out towards the end of the video that I have not seen in any Airbnb yet. As you pull up to the property, you will see the ravine that the treehouse sits in, and it's actually insane how tall and elevated this treehouse is with the beams. You have this beautiful walkway here that is lined with the string lights that leads you to the front entrance. This porch actually wraps around the entire cabin, and we'll get to that in a second, but first let's walk through the front door and enter the inside. Walking through the front door, you will enter the galley style kitchen. On the right hand side here, you have most of your cabinetry, your coffee maker, microwave, dishwasher, and a bunch of other amenities. You also have a farmhouse sink and some beautiful shelving that holds your bowls, plates, and cups. Just like the Overlook Cabin, they have the Brandywine branded wine glasses and some rustic theme decor on the shelves. I really like the green cabinet color here and it flows really nicely with the white countertops and the white horizontal porcelain backsplash. To the left here, you have your range and some additional cabinet and countertop space. And then you also have a full size refrigerator here as well. Right away, you can tell this cabin has the rustic style appearance, just like the Overlook cabin with the reclaimed wood on the ceiling and floor. And like I mentioned in that tour, it just kind of has this Western Yellowstone type of vibe. You also have this live edge bar slash countertop area that extends past the corner here and wraps around into the living room. This is a pretty cool use of space and the live edge is a really nice complement to the rustic theme throughout the cabin. Moving along, you have the main living area in the cabin here. And one of the first things you'll notice is this incredible elk antler mantle above you, which is truly a statement piece in the space. In here, you have this black leather sectional couch with some plants sprinkled throughout. And then you also have your TV here on the opposite wall. This is a really large TV for the space and I also really like the choice of the entertainment center here too. These slider doors lead you to the patio, which we'll get to in a second, but first let's enter the main bedroom in the cabin. This is one of my favorite parts of the entire cabin, and you have these huge panoramic windows that bring the most natural light of anywhere in the cabin here. You have a nightstand next to the bed and even a small closet in this bedroom as well. This is a king size bed, so it's pretty amazing that you have a king size bed in a bedroom this size, but it's surprisingly spacious given the 700 square foot footprint of this treehouse. There is also this beautiful hanging light in the bedroom, and all of these windows have privacy shades in case you want to close them. If you look out this window, you see the view from the bedroom overlooking the beautiful ravine and all of the maple trees sprinkled throughout the property. I don't know why I keep saying sprinkled. Sprinkled greenery, sprinkled maples. There's sprinkles everywhere. If you open this barn door, you enter the one bathroom in the cabin. In here, you have this beautiful vanity with this sit on top sink and a very large circular mirror. On the other side, you have this nice plant next to your toilet and then your walk-in shower. And I really like the moody black style that they have in the shower here. And you actually have two different options with the waterfall style head and then a removable head in the shower too. The cool thing about this bathroom is that if you go through this door, you are back into the kitchen area. So this is accessible from the kitchen and the bedroom, making it more convenient if you have more than a couple people here. If we go back to the living room and up the stairs, you enter the loft of the treehouse. Like any loft, you have a view overlooking the main living room, but this is where you'll find the other king bed in the cabin, which again, I think it's really impressive that you have two king beds in a 700 square foot treehouse. You have these floating nightstands next to the bed, and then also two chairs up here in case you wanna hang out and sit up here. If we go back downstairs and out the slider doors in the living room, you will enter the back patio, which has an incredible view of the private pond that this treehouse overlooks. This deck is a beautiful wraparound deck with a ton of space and seating. You have this cool lounge here with some shade protection, this privacy wall, a fireplace, and just an incredible vantage point of the property. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to, uh, if I got great footage of this, but the unique thing that I mentioned at the beginning of the video 
is that on the other side of the pond, the neighbor next to this property actually has a small elk farm. There's this really beautiful bull elk, and I know I didn't get footage of him, but I saw him. Uh, that's in his summer velvet. It's just insane that you know you have your elk mantle in this cabin, and then literally an elk farm that you can view from the patio with I think it was ten elk. So I'm not aware of another Airbnb that has a view of an elk farm, and I just thought that was really really cool. I was pretty mindful about not flying my drone over there. Um, I think I did only once just because I didn't want to scare them and. Um, so I don't think I got great footage, but trust me, there's an elk farm and you can see elk from this Airbnb. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of this treehouse. Again, David, the host, uh, pretty amazing. The two cabins that he's building, hopefully we can come back and do a tour of those as well. They're going to be awesome. And uh, I highly recommend coming and staying here. It's a, it's a really cool, unique stay. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one somewhere north of nowhere.